to a certain extent, water is uh, everything for Iceland. It's uh, in our culture and it underlines the, the landscape. It's surrounded with water. It's filled with ice, rivers, waterfalls and glaciers and geothermally heated water is carried from the center of the earth up to the surface for us to make a sensible use of it. It's what was actually their uh, gathering point for the Vikings to sit together in a, in a hot pool for uh, togetherness of people. It's a meditation almost to uh, sit in the, in the hot water and, and kind of float, float away uh, not physically, but uh, mentally flow out of the place where you are, actually. Almost you feel like you originated in water. I focus much more on the sensitive way of seeing water. For me, a uh, closeness to water is this calming source to find peace. is a kind of a purifying uh, element. I grew up in a small fishing village in a deep fjord in the West Church, which is a remote area of, of Iceland. You're enclosed by the mountains on three sides, and there is only one opening, which is the mouth of the fjord, where the sun is setting in the horizon, and you feel like you are just a tiny fraction of a harsh environment. It's just nature and the peaceful atmosphere that I want to create in every space, actually. This kind of closeness to nature is so great. It's like 99% of your life being inside and outside is uh, natural, but uh, it, it's not just a feeling, it's actually a method of working with architecture and uh, made me eager to pay a closer and deeper uh, attention to the landscape to kind of grab Icelandic nature. For me, a form is nothing unless there is material to it. And the material can even tell you more about the object than the form itself. And in this house, it was uh, crucial to build it into the land and material-wise belong to that place and let it sit and, and rest in the landscape. So the landscape could come completely almost into the building. And because it takes uh, 70 years to, to grow, we decided to put exactly the same moss on the roof, like more the landscape, just lift it up and we put the house underneath. To connect the building and the mossy landscape in the same way as the cliff was when we came here. The idea with the broken surface of the exterior concrete is uh, to show the gravel from the riverbed to give it uh, the colors of the landscape around it. To me, it feels, uh, feels like I'm part of nature. It creates a kind of uh, quietness or a calm atmosphere. It's very elemental for me, at least. It's kind of strange. I don't think about Iceland as so unique. I, I just see, I just see nature and uh, the environment and its natural contradictions and the contrast of light and materials and the weather. It's kind of a giving element completely. I believe that architecture will play a bigger part than than ever in structuring our society or structuring our life. I think this will be crucial that we grab the role of leaders in the way of responding to the responsibility of taking care of the environment so that in the end it builds up a respect for nature that, that you realize that nature is, is always bigger than yourself. And it's kind of a, a deeper belief in nature.